Hey guys, Riley Chase here with Hostify. And today I want to talk to you about the importance of setting up the host name and override and form host settings in your Unify controller. Now on my Unify controller here, I've gone to settings controller, and this is the setting I'm talking about right here, controller host name slash IP. Now the controller name above it, that doesn't really matter. That's just a description. So it can have spaces. It can be called demo server, one, two, three, whatever you want it to be called. Um, but the controller host name is really important that you set this to a, um, a DNS record that you control that um, you can change to a different IP address in the future if you need to. And um, so you want to set this this record up. In my case, it's demo.hostify.com. might be unify.yoursite.com, whatever. And um, put that here. You don't need to put HTTPS or 8443 or anything like that. And then you want to make sure you check this override and form host button below it. And um, there's a little warning message here. And you should read this. You should be really careful before you click confirm um, because you want to make sure that you don't have any typos in this name. And the reason is when you check this box and click confirm, it's going to go to all your devices and change the name of the server they're connected to. So if you originally connected half your devices with an IP address and half with a diff different DNS name, it's going to go through and override all the devices with this new name, um, demo.hostify.com as the server. So if you had a misspelling, um, it would actually disconnect all of your devices um, right after you click confirm. And then there'd be no way to fix it except for manually SSHing into each device and, and reconnecting them to the server with the correct name. So be careful, make sure you don't have a spelling error, but um, you click confirm to enable that and then you have to apply changes. And so what will happen is um, even in the future, if you connect a device using the IP address of the server, it's gonna override that back to the DNS name. And that's a really good thing because if something happens to your server where you lose this public IP address and you have to restore to a new provider, a new server, um, you'll have control to just update that DNS record to the new server IP and all your devices will reconnect without having to manually log into them. Um, so yeah, it's a really important setting. Um, everyone should enable this. And this is something you should also do um, right before you migrate your server somewhere. So if you're going to migrate to Hostify from um, your, your own cloud server and you're doing a backup of your server, restoring it, and then um, updating DNS, make sure you do this first in case, you know, you might have thought you um, connected all the devices with the host name, but just in case, this will override to make sure all the devices were connected with the host name. And then there's one other scenario I want to bring up, which is um, DHCP option 43 is one way that you can set up a USG or another router, a DHCP server, to automatically connect your device, your unified devices to your server so that you don't have to log into each one to uh, um, inform them. Now, what's a bummer about that setting is, you know, it's nice because it brings all your uh, devices over. But what's a bummer is that it, you can't put a host name in that in the DHCP option 43. It has to have an IP address of your server. And, you know, like I said, you should never use the IP address of the server. You should always use DNS name when you're connecting devices. So this way, um, those devices will originally get connected to the server with the IP address, but then they'll get over, you know, they'll have an override here where it goes back to being connected with the um with the DNS name. And so um, if that if the IP address ever changes, you still have to update your DHCP settings, but at least your devices aren't lost. Um, so yeah, that's all I wanted to talk about today. Really important setting. And um, yeah, definitely make sure this is configured on your controller. If this video was helpful for you, please hit the uh, thumbs up button if you're watching on YouTube and subscribe to our channel if you'd like to see more videos like this one. Thanks.